Вечер в хату, everybody! It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna learn how to do procedural damages. With this technique you will be able to damage any model in a minute. Moreover, because of procedural approach, it's possible to change the model and all the parameters will work with new one. But first, if you want to thank me for my efforts doing all these tutorials for you in my free time, you can become my patron. And starting only from $5, you will get all the tutorials project files, advanced tutorials parts, and some of my digital products for free that will save you a lot of time and efforts. And if you want even more, check my art station mark where you can find amazing textures for everyday use that you can just drag and drop on your models, advanced tutorials videos with the project files included, and game-ready models that you can use immediately. So be my patron to get all these bonuses. And remember that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine that is very important now. So let's jump into Cinema 4D. I have a simple concrete block here. Let's put it inside the volume builder and change the voxel size to 0.5. Then let's add SDF close and open. Here we need to change offset to minus 1 and the iterations to 2. After let's add smooth. It will help to make our edges not so sharp. And then rename these two effectors as shape 1 and shape 2. Then on the edge mode let's select font break selection. Change font angle to 25 and press select all. Before we continue let's remove this edge and this edge. Also also, we need to add to this selection this side edges on the both sides and remove the bottom ones here, so it must look like this. Then with the edges selected, choose Edge to Spline command and put it in a Volume Builder also. In the Volume Builder settings, let's select Spline and change Radius to 2. And in this case, let's change Density to 1. After, we need to create new folder and put our Spline into it. After, change the folders mode to Subtract. Rename Spline as Edges. Add the Delete and Erode. Change Offset to minus 25 and Iterations to 2. Go to Fields tab. Add new shader field. Choose Noise as a shader and Look as a noise. I will add new window to make it more clear. Change contrast to 57. Immediately you can see we get damaged edges. And where it's white we get nothing and where it's black we will get damages. When we know this let's tweak contrast to 60. Already we get really interesting result without any sculpting. Let's go back and add layer to our noise. For now we're gonna layer in our noises to get even more complex result. Click on shader and add one more noise. It will replace previous one, but don't worry, we will blend them in the future. Click on new noise and choose electric type. Change contrast to 60. Looks good, but seems too big, so let's change global scale to 50. Now let's blend this noise with the previous one. In our layering system, let's change the upper noise to overlay mode. Then let's add one more noise. Change the noise type to Naki, set contrast to 70 and brightness parameter around minus 7%. Then let's change global scale to 95 and change the blending mode of this noise to screen to blend together with the previous ones. As you see, with the help of the screen blending mode now and the third noise, we will remove extra damages. Go back to volume builder and add smooth, set distance and iteration to 1 and strength to 10%. It will help to remove small artifacts in the future. Now we can rename this folder as the small damages. And to prevent huge update time, let's turn off all but concrete block. Then let's add one more dilate and erode and put it above our folder. Set offset as minus 3. Go to Fields tab, create new shader field. As previously, set noise as a shader and go into it. Set type as a stupel, hope the pronunciation is right. Change contrast to 70. And let's play with the brightness and set it around 35%. Put it in a layer, add one more noise. Set noise type as over, change global scale to 80. Set contrast to 85 and brightness to minus 26 and set the blending mode of the second noise to screen, then add another noise. Set type as FBM, global scale as 500, brightness as minus 22 and contrast as 56. And I don't like it, so let's change the contrast to 39. Much better, let's change blending mode to multiply. That will reveal our damages just on certain areas. Then click on the last noise and choose copy and paste shader to duplicate it. In the duplicated one, change seed and global scale to 250. Go lower and let's change brightness to minus 33% and contrast to 21% and maybe tweak brightness a bit to 45%. 
Then let's go back to layering system and change the blending mode of the last noise as screen. After let's go back to volume builder and let's rename this arrow as damages 2. Now we can turn off the volume builder and create new platonic to make big holes in our concrete block. Let's make it smaller and change segments to 7. Put displacer effector in it, set noise as a shader and go into it. Change global scale to 8 and high of the displacer as 3. Play with the contrast to make it sharp. Put smoothing deformer below displacer and set smoothness percentage as 18. Right click on a platonic and connect objects plus delete. Put this new platonic into the cloner, clone mode as object, and the object will be our concrete block. Change the scale of the platonic and the count as you like, then add random effector to our cloner, then you can play with the position parameters, as a mass you need to play with the rotation parameters, and of course in the end we need to go to the scale and play with the scale to make them more uniform. Then you can turn on the volume builder again, turn off all the damages inside for now, and paste the cloner above everything. Blending mode will be subtract. Now we can play with the count again and tweak the scale to make it look better. Create new folder, put cloner in it and let's rename it as big holes. Copy previous smooth and paste it above the cloner and change folder small to subtract. Now you can turn back everything again and after a small pause you will get the result. Looking pretty damn good. Let's put our volume builder into volume mesher and let's observe annoying part of it is this letter effect and to get rid of it we need to change adaptive to 1%. That will help us to get rid of this letter effect but save all the details. And that's it, we have a working system to damage any model now. The interesting part is you not only control the damage system, you're also able to control on which part and which damage will appear. For example, I want to control these damages to cracks and I will create new linear field. In this case, I will put it in the subtract mode. And for example, something hit our concrete bolt on the right side and these damages appear on the right part of it. And still, this whole system is absolutely procedural. Moreover, it's a great system for making high poly model for baking it to low poly model and use it in a game so without any skills of sculpting. As a proof how simple it is, I will turn everything off and create new text as a new object. It can be any object you want to. The only thing you need is to create new edge spline. After just replace the old model with a new one and old spline with a new one with a new radius in it. That's it, I already got working results. And remember, it's still procedural so you can change anything you want to. For example, make edges not so roundy or make them very choppy as in prehistoric titles. Maybe you will be the one who will create new titles for a new Jurassic Park, or make it less choppy and make something in the middle. Moreover, you can create the animation and from the clean model create the damaged one. In any case, you will get amazing results with incredible details without any skills in sculpting. Also, as a bonus for my patrons, I will include not only tutorials files, but also this brick project that you can use in your printing for your dungeons or in the games if you want to bake from high poly to low poly detail and get amazing bricks in a second. And because it's also procedural, you can make infinite variety of your bricks. Also, as always, many thanks to my patron Anthony Tudisco. Don't be shy to leave the comment below, mate. And that's it! So hope you liked it, enjoyed it, learned something new. I put a lot of efforts in this tutorial, so become my Patreon to support me to get even more interesting tutorials in the future. Subscribe the channel and don't forget to ring the bell to not miss even more interesting stuff that are coming. And remember, все буде Україна.